what's going on guys it's your boy swift with another video and this is part two um zombie diva and the egg shaper monster deck that they're running i really love that mat and the new mat the light and darkness dragon mat but uh but let's get back into the gameplay um so i lure of darkness i special summon um cyber dragon uh since it is game two so i side, side him in I do not main it, uh, even though it's not a bad card, but I do not main Cyber Dragon. So I special summon, he um, he bottomless, so then I Rota, I get Stratos. Um, you know, that's just like OP. Thinning out the deck, you know, so that way you could get your real, real good cards or go for that combo. Uh, Zombie Diva can just swarm and OTK you if I have to. But uh, yeah, so I summon Greffer, I pitch Mali because... I had a Mali in my hand. I know I could have special summoned Greffer, but I didn't want it to because then it'll be a little bit too much because I'm removing Mali to special summon, another dark, and then I have to re set one card on top to get Plague Spreader. So that was like too many cards, and I don't want to be just like with one or zero cards. So I special summon Plague Spreader with, uh, with Mali. I go for Dark and Dragon. Because I kind of know what deck he's running. So I figured that was a spy. And I don't want him to get the, the effect of spy. So I was like, let me kill it before it gets flipped. Um, <clears throat> because spies can be pretty annoying. Uh, especially if he has the other gravekeepers that pops. Um, he could get rid of any of my monsters. So I um, he's checking if it's phased down as well. And I'm like, yeah, it's just monsters that you control. Uh, so I pop spy and then I attack 17 directly and 21 I he takes both I set one card and I, I at this moment I'm feeling pretty good I'm like okay cool uh, he specials I know he has tuners a lot of tuners so I believe I let him um, let me check I, I believe I do let him or I'm just thinking of the play um, he summons on the summon, I um, I should have bottomless his his uh, cyber dragon. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't. I don't even know what I was thinking. Uh, he says three. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, no cards in hand. I swing for seventeen. He takes it. I'm scared for a torrential, so I'm playing pretty defensively right now. Um, he sets another one. I normally like to go all in, you know. I'm like, fuck it, it is what it is. But I was playing really defensive. Since I already took game one, I'm trying to win game two. So I said, set, I'm building up the field, you know. That way I don't, if he does do something crazy, I have defense monsters. I have a back row. Um, I'm sure he has something good back there too. Uh, he said to monster, I feel like I'm thinking it's spy. And I'm like, dang, this could possibly be another spy. I'm going to be screwed. Um... Because I can run over Spy. But I tribute to Cyber Dragon. I think he bottomless me. Oh, he's Solemns. He's Solemns. So, at this moment, I'm like, man, he really, really trying to save that defense position monster. Because he knows that um, Griffith cannot run over it. So, I'm like, you know what? For now, I'm, I believe I did an attack. I still got Goblin Zombies effect. Goblin Zombie and Sangin are just super OP. Uh, like 90% of the time or even more, you will get their effect. Um, so he's stalling. Uh, well, more like I'm stalling. I'm not trying to attack because I don't want him to start searching. So then I just end my turn. I'm thinking it's a spy. He has three cards. Now I think he has two cards in his hand. I have two cards in my hand, and I'm like, damn, what should I do? What should I do? So I'm waiting for something, checking my graveyard. I'm like, what can I do? What can I do? Um, I believe I said. <laughs> it sucks. You know, it sucks when they have a big beater, or, well, a big defense, and you can't really do much. So he summons an ace every guy, and I'm just like, dang. What is he going to do? He mind control, so... At least I know that allowed me to to know that not all of his cards are a threat. Some of them are a bluff. Uh, he summons for uh, a seven, I believe. 
Yeah, he summons for that egg saber guy. I have to have four more months, four more cards on my hand, so that way he could uh randomly mill one. Uh, but I believe I only had three, so I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'll take the damage. <clears throat> then he swings. He's at like twenty one or twenty two. He's not that much of a high hit, uh, high hitter, uh, for a sinker at least. And his effect is not that much of a good thing because four cards in hand. That's a lot. Um. So, here's this play. I summon Diva to get Gilman because I'm trying to go for either Catastor or, or the, um, the Psychic Lady. I forgot her name. Um, the Android. And I'm thinking, what would be best? Um. Either way, I could run over him. It's not a matter. Is is it's not a problem. But I was like, you know what? Let me get Android. I'll get at least six hundred plus of um of life points. But when I was about to synchro, he's like, oh wait, um, I'm a book, and I'm like, God, what the fuck? Like, you did it all late. But I'm like, it's cool. You know what? I'm not tripping. I'm not those type of players that would get mad. Um, uh, <clears throat> cause he didn't tell me anything to begin with. Um, so I'm like, okay, go ahead. So I, I left Diva in attack position cause obviously I just summoned her. Um, so he does do some damage. I think it's like 2000, which is, which is a lot. Um, I believe he ends his turn <clears throat> and I'm just sitting, you know, I'm like, okay, now, he, now he's up. And it's only because of the high monster. Now, at this moment, I'm not tripping about his back row. I have Dust Tornado, another card that I side in, uh, which just came in clutch because of Starlight. Um, Starlight would have stopped many things. And it would have given him a huge plus one, but didn't. So then he's just attacking. He, he got rid of my Mizuki, which was perfect. Honestly, this play right here is perfect. I look at my graveyard and I'm like, dang, I have four darks because I just drew dark arm. So then I was like, okay, cool, perfect. I'm going to remove Mizuki to special summon Goblin Zombie. I know he cannot uh, bottomless because of his uh, of his attack. So now I have enough. I have exactly three to special summon dark arm, which is really good. Special summon, he double checks and I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cheat you, you know? Um, so then I'm just popping one by one, pop defense, and it wasn't even a spy. It wasn't even a spy. I was scared of attacking and it wasn't even a spy, but whatever. Just got rid of the prison and he's only at 400 and I attack and it's game. That's a GG. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Peace.